During this exercise we will be looking at the Shorts Locator. The Shorts Locator instrument is a tool to enable PCB shorts to be found audibly. The ear is much more sensitive to changes in pitch or tone than it is to changes in volume. By increasing and decreasing the pitch from the instrument according to the resistance between the two probes, we can use the instrument to detect short tracks on the circuit card. As the resistance between the two probes decreases, the tone frequency increases. Once the tone has reached its peak, then the probe should have located the point where the short is located, the point of least resistance. The short locator instrument can be launched by clicking on the short locator control command icon. The instrument is switched on and off by toggling the power button. The short locator uses an audio output to indicate changes in resistance. The sound can be switched on or off by clicking on the speaker button. The short's detected current ranges from 0 to 1 amp. The default setting is 500 milliamps. The short's detected current is the current that will be supplied through the probes to enable the resistance to be measured. Narrow tracking requires less current than wider tracks and power rails. The open circuit voltage limit ranges from 100 millivolts to 500 millivolts. The default setting here is 500 millivolts. The open circuit voltage limit represents the maximum voltage available between the two probes when probing the circuit for shorted tracks. The multicoloured slide bar gives a visual indication of the output pitch. A high pitched tone from the speaker would be indicated in the red area, and a low pitched tone would be indicated in the green area. Okay, so at this stage we're going to look at the uh, short locator audio output and um, we're going to use a uh, one meter length of tin copper wire connected between two studs on an anti-static map. We're going to use our short locator lead set with the probes removed and we're going to use a uh, crop valve clip. So we'll connect the short locator lead up to the pinpoint, connect the crop valve clip to one end of the uh, short locator leads and connect that to one of the studs. And what we're going to do is simply um, connect to the piece of thin copper wire and move along uh, towards the second probe. As we get closer to the other end, the, the audio output frequency is going to increase um, as the resistance drops. So, so turn the short locator up on, and it's moved the uh, probe along the piece of tin copper wire. clearly detect the difference in frequency as we get closer to the probe is definitely much higher um, than when we first started. Okay, so to demonstrate a short locator um, actually detecting short circuits on a circuit card, we're going to use the 987-8-8 tutorial board. Um, this has two um, shorted tracks which are simulated on track A and track B and somewhere along the line of tracks here we have a, a connection between the two. So we're going to use the shorts locator and try and detect a, a change in audible output um, and see if we can locate where the short is on the board. Okay. So initially I'm going to start with a, a static position so I'm just going to use the crocodile clip to connect to uh, track A and I'm going to use a probe to probe along the various points to see if I can detect uh, changes in, in frequency. Okay, so let's turn the short locator on. So, so change from it. So I play in. You can detect frequency. The output is there. It's getting higher, getting higher, higher again. It's probably at its highest there, and you drop down again. Let's turn the shots locator off temporarily. So, uh, just by quickly testing those points along here, um, so much short is in this area here, and I think this was the pixel. Let's just retest that again. So, so yeah, the highest. Highest pitch that we're actually breeding back there is on test point uh, 56. And so I'm just going to hold the probe there and let's see if we can move closer to that, the second probe and see if we can detect again a change in frequency and see if we locate right down to the, the actual point. 
Um, so we've done the short circuit back on. So start at probe. Track A. Let's take frequency get higher and higher. Now to add its pick again. And as I move away from the short, the tone reduces in frequency. So that is the highest. Uh, and that's the you know, short's located within within that area there. So turn the short locator off. Um, if we flip the board over, so we're looking at this point here. And we do indeed actually have a track running between those two test points. So along those two parallel tracks, we have a short between the two and we've located that down just by using the audio output from the shorts locator.